Hey, welcome to my eSports Tiger Kinsu 2 Pro Mousepad review. It's quite a mouthful. Either way, it's priced at $40, and I do think that's pretty fair considering you get some pretty uh, unique things compared to other slow control pads. I'll just quickly get into it. The dimensions are 400 times 480 millimeters, and it has a 6 millimeters thickness. Um, and it does have your usual OEM base, but I didn't have any issues with it moving around. It pretty much stays perfectly glued, and after about a week, it sat perfectly flat. Well, not perfectly flat. There's still a little bit of spots, but it's nothing crazy. Um, it's relatively soft due to its thickness, um, but it's, again, it's not crazy. It, it's not like if you're... If you push down on your with your mouse, it won't really sink in too much. It's mostly benefits you if you um, use your fingers for stopping power. You're able to push in pretty comfortably, and if you play with the majority of your arm on the desk, uh, it's also very comfortable. But again, it's not enough for your wrist to sinking in or anything like that. I had no issues moving my arm or getting stuck with sweat with this pad, and it does not have stitched edges as you can see. Um, but again, the the surface and the plushiness and the thickness of the pad is still very comfortable even with vertical movements. Um, I had no issues. And by the time the edges start to fray, um, you should probably just replace the mouse pad. That's kind of just the reality of owning a cloth mouse pad is that after about, you know, you know, like eight to eight months to a year, you're probably going to be replacing it if you actually do use it a ton. So, you know, just kind of how it is. The surface is extremely comfortable. There's no graininess or roughness to it. Um, it just feels very soft and fuzzy. I don't know if you can hear, but there, there's like basically no sound feedback from your mouse when you're swiping it. And yeah, it just feels amazing. The only negative part of the surface is that it does have an eSports Tiger logo um, printed on top and you can feel that with your hand or arm, but it's actually so small. So it's like such a small nitpick. That's like the only complaints I can think of in my head, I guess. The speed of the mouse pad is slow. You can pretty much consider it like a mud pad. Um, it's pretty much the exact same speed as a GSR. I wouldn't recommend it if your mouse is higher than the 90 gram uh, like point, but with lightweight mice, like 60 grams or 70, 80 grams, you get like an insane amount of comfort and control. Um, it feels amazing. And this pad is still affected by humidity, um, but that's just kind of what you have to come to expect with uh, these very cloth uh, slow pads it's like all the time they, they'll be affected by humidity and yeah so if you do have issues with humidity where you live i can't recommend it but i had no issues personally this mouse pad is the best uh, slow control pad i've tried yet honestly and it's definitely worth the price tag i mean it's only like ten dollars more than a gsr i think maybe even the same price it just depends on your shipping um, but it beats the gsr in every single way it's insanely comfortable and if you like slow pads, you should definitely try this pad out if you don't have issues with humidity. And there's always the, the potential or possibility of them upgrading the base and edges as they've been doing with their other pads. Um, they've been putting their Peru base on it, I believe it's called. Uh, so there's always a potential for them to upgrade it eventually, especially if the sales are there. And if you, if you pretty much like play Valorant or CSGO, you're going to love this pad. If you play faster games, obviously get a faster pad. But for tax shooters, this is like the best slow mud pad um, control pad I've tried out there. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And see you guys in the next video.